Hi everyone, welcome to another art product review. Today I'm going to review this. This is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush. This is actually a brush pen and it's made by the company Kuretake. So I bought the set of six. They are available in different other sets like sets of 4, 6, 12, 24, 36, 48 and 60. So there are a lot of different colors. Let's take a closer look at this. These brush pens are slightly smaller compared to the Pentel color brush pens. Later on, I will compare these two brush pens to show you the different strokes that they can create. And compared to a size of a disposable pen, it's slightly taller, but the diameter looks about the same. These brush pens use water-based ink they are not light fast and they are not waterproof. The color is written here. This is bright yellow. This is made in Japan. The body feels quite light and it's good to hold. There is no clip on the cap, but the cap has this extrusion here that prevents the brush pen from rolling around the table. The highlight of this brush pen is it uses bristles instead of those sponge tip. And there are little breather holes here and on the other side. The tip looks like it's very sharp but it's not that long compared to the Pentel color brush pen. So the Pentel color brush pen has a much longer and larger brush tip. As for other differences, the ink for the Pentel color brush pen is replaceable. You can either get a replacement ink cartridge or you can refill the ink yourself using a syringe. This is not refillable, so once you run out of the color, you have to get a new pen. Both brush pens use dye-based ink, so they are not waterproof. They are water-soluble, so be careful when you're using these brush pens with mixed media, especially with water-based media like watercolor. So let's test out the colors now. I'm going to start with this. This is bright yellow. The color is really quite vibrant. Ink flow is quite good. Let me switch over to using blue. This is Persian blue. I can see that this brush pen is great for calligraphy because it can produce very thin lines and if you press down hard you can get really thick lines so when you use it on the side you can get very thick strokes like this if you draw a bit quickly you can get this dry brush effect if you want the lines to be solid you have to draw a bit slower and it's actually a bit difficult to control the lines when you draw a bit slower, at least for me. Let's try some thin and thick lines. Inflow is quite good. And let's compare the Kuretake with the Pentel brush pen. This is also black. Alright, the ink flow for the Pentel brush pen is definitely much more generous and I can just paint like this very fast and I can get really broad strokes much broader compared to the Kuretake and also the ink flow if I move a bit slower I can have the ink flow catch up with my brush which is uh, quite good and I can use this to cover large areas very quickly I can get really thin lines as well but I need to be a bit more careful because brush pens they are very sensitive so this is the thin and thick and thin let me switch over to the Kuretake again this is the thin and the thick and the thin so if you want more line variation then the Pentel brush pen is the obvious choice I read on Kuretake's website they say that if you put the brush tips together you can actually blend those colors together so let me just um, try and do that right now alright let's see if I can get an orange 
I definitely uh, can see that this is warmer compared to this so I need to add a bit more red to this to make it a bit more to make it warmer so the color blending works uh, better when you are adding a strong color to a lighter color so in this case I can get the bright orange bright yellow to look more orange but for the red it still looks um, very much like red let's try and mix these two colors together we have blue and red so that should give us a purple so this is more purplish compared to the blue compared to that and let's try this so the red bristles has definitely been stained with the blue and now let me try and clean this to see if I can get back the same red color again and yes I do I do need to waste some of the ink the colors are really bright and vibrant I really like them the colors are now dry so I want to see if the ink is waterproof or water soluble and this is definitely not waterproof let's try and spread out this color you can get some nice effects but the strokes they will lose their sharp edges they will like totally dissolve like this green color here let's see if i can erase this red color using my brush so some colors are stronger compared to others like green and blue they are almost gone i think purple is a bit stronger red is a bit stronger and strangely this bright yellow this is quite strong as well earlier I was using fine grain cartridge paper so the paper has some texture now I have switched to a sketchbook with a smoother paper so I'm going to sort of quickly color some of uh, these areas here so that I can add water later on to see how the how I can use the water soluble ink to its best effect The ink doesn't bleed over to the other page, so this is great. By the way, this paper is not that suitable for watercolor. It doesn't absorb water that well, so the water is going to stay on the surface of the page for a while. And now let's try and wet some of these colors. Let's start with the black. I guess you can get some nice shades, like shadows and some tones. The ink does not dissolve that readily. We can certainly get some pretty nice uh, effects. And I want to try and see what would happen if I were to just um, draw on the wet surface. It does feather slightly when the surface is wet. This is now dry. So you can definitely get some interesting effects with the water-soluble ink. Unfortunately, um, some of the ink actually bled through to the other page. Now this happens when I use the brush pen and then applied water over the brush pen ink. This happens, but if I were to just use watercolor, the, the water actually doesn't go through the page. So it's the combination of the ink and the water that uh, makes this uh, bleed through so be careful about uh, the type of paper or sketchbook that you use if you really want to use the water soluble ink with water i would recommend you use watercolor paper instead of uh, sketchbook paper like this this is going to damage your uh, the art that's on the other page like what i have done here <laughs> 
So what can I say about the overall quality of these brush pens? Well, they work just like they are supposed to. I think these brush pens are great for calligraphy work. So if you want to write calligraphy, these brush pens, they are, I think, fantastic for those kind of work. If you want to color your sketch with the brush pens, I think you definitely need bomb practice. I usually do not use brush pens for coloring or for blending colors, so um, it's a bit difficult for me to test that out. Now, if I were to compare the Pentel brush pen versus the Kuretake Z Clean Color brush pen, I would prefer the Kuretake because it has a larger and longer tip so I can get more variation in terms of line thickness. I mean, I can still draw very thin lines, I just have to be very careful. Um, the same applies to using this pen, this brush pen. I can draw very thin lines as well, but it doesn't go as thick compared to the Pentel brush pen. And um, the best feature of this is actually the refillable ink. So in the long run, it's going to be more economical. Now, the advantage of this is it has 60 over colors, while this has a much uh, limited, this has a limited range of colors, so this does not have as many colors as compared to the Zig. So if you really need a lot of colors, then um, you can maybe get some of the sets to try out. These brush pens are not very expensive. I bought them at a local store for $19.26, that's Singapore dollars. I think there, uh, there was some discount going on, so I probably paid about 18 Singapore dollars, and that's the equivalent of 13 US dollars. I went online to check on Amazon and jetpens.com, and they were selling at US 16 to 17 dollars, so um, stationery here in Singapore and in Asia is slightly cheaper compared to in Europe and USA. Alright, that's all for today's review. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!